Well, good afternoon, guys. YouTube friends, uh, Wes here. Um, sorry, I hadn't done a video in a while. I've been waiting on a few things to um, arrive in the mail, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a DVD slash Blu-ray update here. Don't have a really big one, um, but I have quite a few um, quite a few things to show that may be interesting. Um, before I get started, uh, I want to show you another cool thing. Uh, some of you, if you watched my first, my very first video here on the channel, um, the uh, comedy collection, I showed this old uh, Keystone projector that I had from my uncle uh, that passed away several years ago that was a photographer. Um, this is another thing that I had at my uh, parents' house that I came across here. Uh, it was also from him. It's really cool. I thought you guys might want to see it. This is an old uh, Keystone 16mm magazine film projector. I don't know how well you can see this here, but um, it's pretty cool. It actually opens up here, and you insert a, I guess they used to sell these cartridges, 16 millimeter film. You put it in there, and then you have this crank, and you actually wind it up, and then you push that there to roll it. You can also take uh, single still frames. You can do, um, it has a setting on the lens here for, I don't know if you can see that, but for different conditions like outdoor, winter, hazy, bright, all that stuff that, you know, correlates with the proper f-stop and all that, but just kind of a neat thing. Um, it probably doesn't even work. I mean, it may work. I don't know, uh, but, and I probably won't use it for anything. I just have it for another, you know, display piece here in my little film room. Um, maybe one day I'll go through here and show you guys uh, some of my other stuff that's around the room other than just my big, you know, DVD rack here, but Anyway, that's kind of cool. Just thought I'd share it with you if you've never seen something like that. So, it's kind of neat. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the DVD update, though. I'm, I'm going to probably throw in a couple shout-outs to people in here because uh, a lot of you are awesome about recommending movies and uh, all this kind of stuff. So, uh, where, where uh, credit is due, I'm going to try to apply it to you and uh, mention you here. Um, the first DVD I picked up, uh, I want to actually mention, I think his name is Viper29. Uh, the other day he posted a small uh, audio clip from this movie and I'd forgotten how much I love this comedy and it is Good Morning Vietnam with Robin Williams. This is the um, special edition. Um, it has uh, quite a few bonus features. Hope you guys can see this. Um, it has, uh, let's see, how the movie came to be, actor improv. It has a lot of uh, footage of uh, Robin Williams um, improving his uh, radio monologue that they didn't actually put into the film, so it's pretty cool. It's like a lot of him just, you know, goofing off and just uh, doing all his little, uh, you know, improv jokes and everything. Uh, if you've seen the movie, you know that probably most of his radio monologue was improv. But anyway, it has that improv. It has uh, some music of the movie. Has the uh, origin of the uh, Good Morning Vietnam sign on. Talks about shooting in Thailand. Uh, overview of the film a year later. So. It has some nice bonus features. Um, just a really fun, great movie. Um, good comedy, and I really enjoy this. Uh, of course, it has uh, J.T. Walsh in it also, who passed away, uh, who was in Sling Blade and a lot of other excellent films, uh, like Breakdown and some other stuff. It has a uh, you know, really good cast, um, Forrest Whitaker. Um, it's a Barry Levinson film, the guy that directed Rain Man, and he has some other excellent movies. But anyway, this is the uh, Good Morning Vietnam Special Edition. As I've already mentioned, and I don't know why I did not have this in my collection, but I got it for pretty cheap, about 10 bucks, and now I do, so that's a great pick up there. Uh, the, the next um, four movies here I got are horror films, and I got them for about five bucks a piece. And the first one I saw on a double vision with uh, Resident Vania and Chocolate Torpedo two great YouTubers. They talked about this film and I haven't actually seen it but I had to get it after they talked about it. And this is the uh, Leatherface Now I haven't opened these yet because I just got them but this is the Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 and I heard this was just a great sequel. Um, I look forward to watching it. Um, just picked it up like I say and uh, and looks like a looks like a really fun movie. Uh, you know they, they did a good job of uh, talking about it and uh, really selling me on it so um, I had to pick that up for, I got it for five bucks, so awesome, really excited about that. Of course I've got the first one, but I have not, and I've seen, uh, I think I've seen part two also, it's been a while, but I've definitely not seen this one, and it's going to be fun to uh, check this one out, so thanks guys for that. 
I'll try to put you guys links over in the side so they can check out your channels. Um, another one I picked up um, is Breeders. And this is, a, I guess, kind of a sci-fi type uh, film. Um, it came out in 1986 and uh, directed by Ed... No, it's directed by... Uh, Where's the director? Tim Kincaid. I haven't heard of much of his other stuff, but I think it's just a... I don't really know much about it. I've heard... I've heard a little bit about it. I've seen a few people mention it on YouTube, and again, I saw it for cheap, so I just figured I would check this one out. If you guys want to put your two cents in on this one, that'd be awesome. Um, Seth Breeders. Uh, also, in that little $5 batch, I picked up the uh, the Omen Collector's Edition. This is the original with Gregory Peck. Um, excellent film. Very creepy. Very well done. Um, came out in... You guys know I can't ever seem to find these dates on here. 1976 has uh, quite a few special features. A commentary um, by uh, Richard Donner, an editor. It has uh, some featurettes here. Uh, a thing about the score from Jerry Goldsmith. Still photo gallery, deleted scene. has this documentary called uh, 666, The Omen Revealed and The Omen Legacy. It's got a screenwriter's notebook. And it also has Wes Craven talking about the film. There's a lot of glare on these. I'm sorry, because like I said, they're in the plastic. Again, like I mentioned, I had not opened them yet. So, uh, But that's the Omen Collector's Edition for $5. So pretty good. I've seen this movie before. I haven't seen it in a while. But I don't know why, again, I didn't have that one in my horror collection. But now I do, and I'm glad to have it. And the other one is another film uh, that I don't know why I didn't already own. But again, saw it cheap and had to pick it up. This is the... Um, David Cronenberg classic, Scanners. Of course, if you haven't seen Scanners, um, you guys need to see it. If you have, I'm sure you remember the uh, famous head exploding scene. Probably one of the most uh, well-known uh, horror special effects from that era. Um, this came out in 1980. Uh, great film. Uh, very weird, very sci-fi. Very, uh, the concept's pretty creepy. So, this looks like just a bare-bones edition, but uh, for five dollars again, I know I keep saying five dollars a bunch of times here, but uh, anyway, I had to pick this one up. So that's Scanners. Look forward to watching that again. It's got, of course, Michael Ironside, which is awesome. Um, I believe it's Michael Ironside. Yeah, and uh, I don't really know many of the other people in it, but anyway, great David Cronenberg film. You guys check out Scanners if you haven't. Jumping to the Blu rays now. Um, and just show you right quick what I got in Blu-ray. I got some good deals on these too. Uh, Children of the Corn uh, just came out. It's uh, it's got it's the 25th anniversary edition. Um, looks great on Blu-ray. It has uh, some nice special features. Um, I'm kind of running short on time here, so I'm not going to be able to read them all off. But it looks great. It's been you know remastered. It's a great transfer. There's the disc, and it's a good classic horror movie. So it's Children of the Corn. Then I picked up this uh, T2 Skynet Special Edition uh, Terminator 2. Um, again, it's got the it's got the slipcase here. It's got quite a few features. Unfortunately, this video is uh, running long, so I don't have time to go through them all. But um, anyway, that's the Terminator 2 disc upside down there. Skynet Edition. And finally, uh, right quick here at the end, I want to give a shout out to Civilian Snowman for recommending this Blu-ray uh, for picture quality. It's absolutely phenomenal picture quality, probably the best I've ever seen, and it's Zodiac. This director's cut. Um, the two disc director's cut. So, yeah. And um, this is, of course, a uh, David Fincher movie. Uh, a little slow. Um, I watched it last night. It's pretty long, a little slow, and uh, you really have to stay with it. Uh, you know, not a lot of action or anything like that. It's more of a, you know, mystery, but has two discs here. Uh, one's the film, one is uh, full of special features, which I haven't looked at yet. Picture quality, absolutely pristine. Probably the best I've seen. Uh, it was filmed with this new uh, $200,000 digital camera they just came out with. It's a digital film camera that shoots in full 1080p, 24 frames a second. Uh, basically just like a, you know, one of these hardcore movie cameras, but it's all digital. So uh, even though I am a fan of some film grain to you know give it that rustic look, uh, you absolutely get no grain. You get a perfectly just diamond cut smooth picture. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, this film 
uh, it looks so good. There's, you know, there's even some kind of eerie 3D effects you get sometimes because it just looks so clean and crisp on close-ups. Uh, but anyway, that's Zodiac. Um, again, shout out to Civilian Snowman or Jack from for uh, recommending this one for picture quality. Uh, thanks, man. And that's my update, guys. I'm gonna try to cut this down to be under 10 minutes, hopefully, so I don't have to go to two parts. But uh, you guys take care. Thanks for watching my videos. And uh, I will see you guys on YouTube. Peace out.